Okay, so here we are, at the early stage of Athona's new solar building. And it doesn't really look like a building yet, it looks more like a frozen swimming pool. But um, this is the stage we've reached by Christmas 2009. The block work is to support the building above the ground to alleviate the flood risk. We have a footprint which is going to accommodate bedrooms, showers and a meeting space and it's all starting to look a bit more like a building than a hole in the ground. It's uh Well, basically this is um, made possible for us by uh, an EDA grant that we have had that's the East of England Development Agency, who have uh, made us a grant for Cut Your Carbon. Um, and we uh, entered this competition and uh, were successful. So we have uh, some funds from that source and some funds from uh, members of the community who have generously donated uh, some money so that we could make this building. The building is um, intended to heat itself from the sun. It's got a passive solar gain design and we are making it airtight so that it, um, it helps to keep the heat in. It will be uh, very well insulated with um, straw bales as well as adding to the uh, thermal mass with uh, rammed earth walls. Both the uh, solar, uh, sorry, the straw bale build and the um, rammed earth we will be doing um, by ourselves, the, the community led uh, volunteer project. Um, we'll be doing those parts of the building, but this part of the building is done by contractors, Bakers of Danbury, of uh, our main contractor as far as this is concerned. The design that we're using is um, from Z Factory. Um, they have um, built some very, very good uh, solar designs in, in the past, and we're hoping this, this will be another flagship project for them. Right. Um, now, let me show you a bit more of the, the, the site. Here we've got the material on site dug from the foundations which we'll be using for the uh, rammed earth wall build. Underneath the blue tarpaulin is a pile of clay. We'll be adding to that the mechanical mix with sand and ballast and then a manual running of earth into formwork to make, create the walls. Beyond that there's a yellow tarpaulin stack of straw which was harvested from the farm itself here earlier in the year. Okay, we'll just show you a bit more of the site. It's a bit slippery underfoot, but um, there's the baker's sign there, you can see. We'll just um, walk around a little to give you an idea of how it's uh, set up. You can probably see some of our play equipment in the background there. And our uh, fruit and herb garden just here. So that we'll be looking at from the from the north side, the uh, back edge. There's um, some recycled tyres there, which we're hoping to grow some herbs in. That's all work in progress at the moment.
so now you can see um, what it'll be, what it's looking like at the moment from from the from the north side. You can just see the chapel in the background there where we hold services twice a day. That's a clearer view of the massive uh, uh, heap of uh, straw that we'll be using for the straw bale build. That's all uh, under the tarpauling, hopefully as dry as it can be. And this is the northeast corner. So that's a little bit more about um, our solar build project. And um, we'll try to keep you updated as uh, the work progresses. But for now, that's all. Bye.